How's it going? I hope your onboarding is going smoothly. I hope you're doing well with already tracking your food and, and getting those logged into your food journal. I just wanted to let you know about some resources that I have available just to help you hit the ground running and to really just build that momentum right off the bat. So it'll be things like nutrition education, some foundational knowledge that you know will help you along your journey. It will be some how-to guides on some of the trickier things that you need to get done in the first few weeks. And then there will be several recipes that I'll refer you to that I will show you right now. Let's take a look. All right, so after logging in, you will see the home screen, which will look something like this. I'm on my iPad, but if you are on your phone or your computer, it might look slightly different. What you'll wanna look at is on the side, left side, there will be something called documents. So click on documents and this will open up first off your client resources folder as well as your progress pictures. You're going to want to drop your starting photos in this folder as soon as you get them. It is going to be really important to try to get those progress photos taken as soon as possible just so that we have a really good starting point and this will be the folder that you'll not only drop your starting photos in, but every month I'll have you take a new picture, drop them into this folder, and that way I can create a side-by-side -side and we can see your progress. This way we will be able to track your progress, not only by looking at weight as well as measurements, but also just see the changes that are going on. And then we have number one, client resources. There'll be a lot of resources in here. You can click on the client resources folder Open that up and you will see three different folders. We have how-to guides, nutrition education, recipes, and then there is one document at the bottom called the client roadmap. And then we have in the how-to guides, we'll open that up. I have estimating portion sizes using your hands. This is the document that's going to help you to estimate portion sizes when it's not practical to use a measuring cup or to use a scale. So as you can see, it just shows you how to compare your palm to three ounces of protein using your fist, which is about the size of a cup, using the tip of your thumb, which is about a tablespoon, thumbnail, a teaspoon, a cupped hand is half a cup. We've got the deck of cards as three ounces of protein. A softball is two cups. A baseball is one cup. A tennis ball is half a cup and a golf ball is two tablespoons. So just an easy way to compare food portions to household items and fingers and different body parts. And then I have the kitchen conversion chart. This is going to help you with just converting from, you know, cups to tablespoons to teaspoons to milliliters. It, and it just kind of gives you that, that extra information when you're trying to log things. If you're getting confused, sometimes if you just check this conversion chart real quick, it'll answer, you know, how many tablespoons are in a cup or something along those lines. Then I have a progress photos and measurements guide. This is going to be your guide for how to take great progress photos, as well as how to take your measurements. And once you take all your measurements, please send them to me as a private message so that I can document them in your spreadsheet and so we can track that way. And then I have a document on how to track your food in practice better using the three different methods that I talked about in the last video. If you haven't watched that video already, check it out because I walk you through how to track your food, but this is more of your how to do it written out and telling you exactly what steps to take and the three different ways to track your food. So that is the how-to guides. There may be more added to it as time goes on, but that is where I will be putting anything that teaches you how to do something. And then I have my nutrition education folder with various nutrition topics that will help you get started depending on which route we're taking. I may refer to one of these handouts and you're also of course welcome to check these handouts out. These really are kind of foundational knowledge and information that you'll benefit from. So feel free to take a look at some of these handouts or don't worry about looking at any of them until we bring them up in our meetings as to just prevent becoming overwhelmed. And then I have the recipes folder here. I'll click on that. 
And in the recipes, I have one folder which has several PDF cookbooks, and then I have several different recipe PDF documents that have different categories. So we've got breakfast of champions, we've got healthy sweets, hearty salads, plant-based comfort foods, quick and easy meals, sauces and salad dressings, simple pairings, smoothies, and soups and one pot meals. And as time goes on, I'll be adding to these different documents as I find new recipes that, that work well for my clients, I'll be adding that to this. And so this is a growing and, and living document, um, which eventually will probably end up being a cookbook. So why don't we take a look at one of these, the soups and one pot meals. And as you can see, there's several different recipes in here. And the choice is yours, whatever looks good to you. And then at the end, I have this nutrition analysis that tells you the key nutrients and the portions which you can enter into your food tracker as a new food. You don't wanna go through the hassle of entering in each recipe item as a recipe. You could enter these nutritionals in as entering a new food. And so I've put the key nutrients. We've got the calories, the protein, the carbs, the fat, and the fiber. Those are the foundational ones. I put them in the right order. So I've made it really easy so you can just drop these numbers into the app as you add a new food. We've got calories, protein, carbs, fat, and fiber. And then I included three other nutrients that are pretty important, potassium, saturated fat, and sodium. So that is the recipes. And then we also have the cookbooks here. There are several cookbooks with even more ideas. And then there's also a recipe database document, which will show you several different recipe databases where you can just get an, basically an infinite amount of recipes to choose from. So that's everything in the client resources folder. And that is where you will upload your progress photos, starting photos and monthly photos so we can keep track of your progress. All right, so now that you're aware of those resources, you should be ready to hit the ground running. But if you do have any questions about any of the things in your client resource folder or anything about the program at all, don't hesitate to reach out to me and get your questions answered so that you know, you're not guessing and you can really build that momentum and hit the ground running. So I'm excited to watch you and help you along your health and fitness journey. And I know that this is going to be a game changer for you. All right, peace.